Hey YouTube, I'm Crystal of CrystalSoulsAndStuff.com. Welcome back to the channel where I share sewing pattern reviews, sewing tips and techniques, and other fun content. So today I'm here to share with you a roundup of all of my makes for April and May 2021. So I have a total of 10 makes that I made. Um, and so anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I made in April was the Love Notions Rhapsody blouse. And this is a really cute uh, pattern. I've made the dress version before, but this is the first time I ever made the blouse. And I use a beautiful rainbow print fabric from Joann's and I just love how it turned out. I've had that fabric forever and I just didn't know what to make with it. And I've seen so many people use this fabric in several different ways. And at the time it was rainbow week for um, the So Happy Color so happy wear happy color um challenge on instagram uh hosted by katie uh courtman and so i decided oh yeah i do have this rainbow fabric so it kind of motivated me to go ahead and sew up that um the top in the rainbow print so i'm just loving how it turned out i did have a little trouble with the neckline and you can find out more about that if you go ahead and check out my full review on um that top and I'll leave that in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out. And then the next thing I made was the first, my first make for the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day challenge. And that was McCall's 7775. And it's a really cute um, crisscross uh, top dress. And I just love the neckline of that design. I had that pattern in my stash for quite a while. And I'm glad I went on ahead and sewed it up. And so I sewed it up in a beautiful orange uh, crepe kind of like a bubbly crepe that I picked up from Metro Textiles in New York City. And I just, no, this wasn't Metro Textiles. No, at a fabric swap. So um, anyway, I picked up, I used some really pretty orange um, crepe fabric in my stash. And I just love how it turned out in that fabric. And I wore it around Easter time when the um, flowers were blooming on the tree. So I really love how it turned out and um, the pictures with, um, that beautiful dress. So the next two things I sewed up were the Love Notions Sunday Romper. And I sewed one for myself as well as for my daughter in fabric that she picked out. She picked out some coordinating um, floral prints from Joanne Fabrics. And so we just uh, we decided to go ahead and match up with our Sunday Rompers because that pattern is available in um, children's girl sizes as well as in lady sizes. And so I love how that turned out and we had fun um, posing together with these um rompers on so the next thing that i sewed up was butterick 6330 and i created the dress version of that pattern and i sewed it up in this beautiful red and blue um animal print fabric from so much fabric and I sewed that up as part of the Sew Wardrobe series for this pattern, along with Tea of Crumpus Tea and Sewing. And so I really love how it turned out. And I did a full tutorial on this dress version of this pattern. And if you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can see how to make that wonderful, easy knit dress. And now moving into May, um, we were still doing the Sew Maxi for Mother's Day challenge. And so I decided to sew up the Love Notions title dress and I just love how this one turned out. I used the cute tie-dye, blue and white tie-dye print from Joanne Fabrics and it has kind of a stripey kind of look but I decided to switch up the the pattern design and so I made um, the front going down straight and then the sides going in uh, vertical on the, on the back and I just love how that turned out and you can check out how I did that in the video in the link below. And then the next thing that I sewed up was the Ogden Cami and the Maid Skirt by True Bias Patterns. And this kind of created a faux dress look. And I just love how it turned out in this beautiful teal zebra print from Melanated Fabrics. It's such a cute style. And I'm, I like that I can get a lot of use out of it. And so it's a really cute design. I, they are both really quick and easy patterns from True Bias. I do like both of these patterns so much. I love the pockets on the skirt and I just love, love the neckline for the Ogden. I've made a couple of those before and I love how this combo looked together. So the next thing that I sewed up was the Adda Peplum Top from Duana DIY Patterns. And this is a really uh, cute design by Duana Chandler who, on Instagram and she now just started her own pattern line and this is her first pattern and so I bought the pattern as soon as it came out and I also sewed it up as part of the sew your view challenge for May and I got it in just at the end of the month so I sewed it up in this beautiful yellow and black 
a print. It kind of looks like Ankara, but I know it's not true Ankara, but it's a really nice sturdy cotton. And I picked up this fabric back in 2018 from the Jack Jackson Heights Discount Fabric Center. I recently found out from my friend Dawn on Instagram that she, that it has since closed down, and so I'm kind of sad to hear that. But anyway, I'm glad I finally went on ahead and sewed it up in this beautiful yellow and black print. It's just so cute. It turned out really nicely. And then the defining detail of this pattern are the crossover button placket on the sleeves. And I used some cute buttons that I've had in my stash for a while that I bought from Tabitha Sewer. So I like how it turned out. I did have a little trouble with the armhole openings. They were a little tight on me, and I had to... Uh, cut out a little bit on the bottom end of the sleeve armhole opening and so and but once I did that they were able to fit me better and I also decided to omit the back zipper and I just put in a um a button in the back and I did a rollo loop and um button closure like I did for the Butterick 6330 and again if you check out that um tutorial you can see how I did that but it was really easy um to go ahead and switch out the from the zipper to the button plaque and I like how it turned out um, with that feature and I got to use up all of my well I have still have one more button <laughs> yellow button left but I got to use up more buttons um, for that design because I had I put five buttons on each sleeve um, for the for the sleeves and then I had one more button in the back so I had 12 buttons so now I got to use 11 for the top so I'm glad I got to use about uh, most of my buttons for that project and so the last two things that I made was another kind of faux dress look and I made the Crystal Cove uh, tank by Itch to Stitch Patterns and I've had this pattern pretty much since it came out but I just never got around to um, sewing it up and I said well let me try a different tank top to go with this kind of faux um, this faux uh, dress look and so I decided to go with this one and a defining feature with this pattern is it has a cute curved hem in the back and it has really thin spaghetti straps so this is a great pattern if you like the thinner spaghetti straps and this pattern is has a great size range it goes from a size double zero up to a size 20 and that fits bus sizes up to 49 inches and it has cup sizes from an A cup to a double D cup so it's a lot of versatility with this pattern and there are only a few pattern pieces for it so you just have your front piece your back bodice piece um, and it has the curved hem and then you just have the tie the shoulder straps and then you have a front facing and a back facing so really quick and easy pattern and I just love the directions to it. it they were very clear to show you how to go ahead and do the curved hem. I really enjoyed sewing up this pattern and I like how it turned out in this print and this fabric is from Minerva so I'm one of them Minerva ambassadors and they were they gifted me this fabric in exchange for a post on their website and so I'll leave a link to the fabric and post so you can go ahead and check that out and then to match the crystal cove cami I just decided to make up another Maeve skirt and I just love how it turned out in this pretty print um I just love all the flowers um I guess it's not flowers it's leaves on this design it's just such a beautiful it has some geometric kind of shapes within the leaf print that go in different direct directions. So it has like little stripes and then little kind of half triangles um, going throughout the fabric. So it's just such a pretty fabric. And I love the purple and lilac against the white background. It looks really cute. So those are all of my makes for April and May 2021. Let me know which one was your favorite in the uh, comment section below. And let me know if you've sewn any of these patterns and whether you liked it or not. So go ahead and let me know that. I hope you all are doing well. We have a lot of cicadas right now because there, if you don't know, a cicada is a, um, a flying insect that comes out only like in cyclical amounts and this is the, this is a 17 year brood and so they are out and they're loud and it sounds like a constant uh, car alarm going off in my backyard all the time every morning they kind of quiet down at night but in the morning all, all you can hear is just this weird kind of chirping sound it sounds like an ongoing car alarm and they're huge and they run past you um really fast but anyway 
They're still going, so I, I'm, I'm wondering, are you having cicadas in your area? Anyway, let me know. I love to know. But um, I don't know how much longer they'll be here, but they're very loud. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all are doing well and surviving the cicadas if you have them in your area. And anyway, I look forward to talking to you all next time. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.